Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Maya Holloway with your Midday Arklemas update. Starting off in a crime alert, two Vidalia parents have been arrested after deputies allegedly found their child home alone. Sheriff's deputies were sent to a home on Lynn Havens Drive after multiple 911 calls. They arrived and found a young child with intellectual disabilities had been making the calls. The child was naked, dirty, emaciated, and home alone. The child's guardians, Lori Stewart and Tony Williams, were allegedly non-compliant when being interviewed and taken into custody. Both have been charged with child desertion and resisting an officer. The investigation is still ongoing. More charges are expected. And in state news, according to a recent report, Louisiana ranks among the fastest shrinking states in the nation, surpassing more than 40 other states in population decline. NBC 10's Nick Summer brings us more details on what is causing the decrease in population. The simple answer is economics. However, even to say economics, it's more complex than that. Because why are companies or why aren't more companies moving to Louisiana? That's the question many folks are asking themselves as Louisiana becomes one of the fastest shrinking states in the nation, outpacing more than 40 other states in population decline. Infrastructure. Do we have the infrastructure? And that is defined as roads, bridges, uh, transportation systems, and broadband to support these companies. Two, it's educational development. You cannot have workforce development without an educational investment. Several factors contribute to the trend of people leaving Louisiana at a higher rate than many other states. Economic challenges play a significant role with limited employment opportunities and lower wages compared to the national average. The state has historically struggled with high poverty rates and limited economic diversification, leading many residents to seek better job prospects elsewhere. Do we have a K-plus system that is preparing students for these jobs or preparing students for the plus secondary education that will prepare them for these jobs. Louisiana News Governor Jeff Landry unveiled his new tax reform plan that said in that he says would simplify the tax code. He is addressing a $700 million budget shortfall by proposed changes to the tax code by calling for a third special session of the legislature. Landry says that because of the Constitution, the legislature typically has only two places to cut when there is a budget shortfall, higher education and health care. The governor says one of the ultimate goals is to make Louisiana an attractive place for companies to do business in. The initial report from the Tax Foundation that I mentioned earlier shows that we move from the, from the bottom 10 to the top 10 in tax relief and business climate. Now that is winning. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We will see plenty of sunshine for this afternoon. Tenders will be warming up a little bit above average into the mid and possibly upper 80s. So definitely turning a little bit warmer and we'll kind of keep that trend up through at least the rest of the week. A few clouds will start rolling in overnight tonight. We'll fall to the mid 60s. Wind will stay overall calm. And then through tomorrow, we'll see a little sun cloud mixture as we see a little bit of an influence from the tropical disturbance, mainly in the Gulf of Mexico. Still up for debate if it has anything tropical with it as far as it becoming a depression or anything of that nature. But even if it does, looking like it's going to move a bit more easterly. We'll just be seeing a lot of spark of, of shower thunderstorms, mainly along the Gulf Coast. Some of that might make its way further north, but rain chances as of now stay very minimum at just 10% for tomorrow and lasting through Saturday. By later on next week, we will see a new front that will arrive, which will help to cool us down and become a bit more seasonal back to lower 80s. But until then, tonight we'll be in the mid 60s and tomorrow still going to be in the upper 80s with that sun cloud mixture. And then going into next week, we might be pushing near 90 going into Sunday and also still very warm by Monday, but the front looks to arrive late Monday night after we kind of get that last uh, warm temperature in the upper 80s. We'll fall to the 50s later on that night and then later next week we will stay more seasonal like lower 80s, low stay mid 50s. So looking a bit more pleasant through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and also through next Friday.